हेलो डी रेस्टोरेंट्स ग्रीटिंग्स ऑफ द डे आई मोहम्मद जीशान वेलकम यू टू द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ ज्योग्राफी डी रेस्टोरेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द फिफ्थ लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर सेवन ऑफ ज्योग्राफी व्हिच इज वॉलकैनोज इन लास्ट लेक्चर्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ वॉलकैनोज एंड आई वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द इन constructive effects of volcanoes what are the constructive effects of volcanoes and in particular we have studied about the formation of landforms as a constructive effects of volcano how landforms are formed and in that we have studied about intrusive landforms like lacolit batholit facolit lopolit okay sills dikes all these things we have studied in last lecture in this lecture we are going to study about the landforms which are created on the surface of the earth and uh, which are called a constructive effects of volcanism or volcanoes right so volcanoes construct what they construct uh, landforms on the surface of the earth and those landforms which are formed on the surface of the earth are called extrusive landforms right and in your book it is given that volcanic plateaus volcanic plains and volcanic mountains these types of landforms are formed by the activity of volcano on the surface of the earth which we are going to study and other than these landforms we will also study three things uh, hot springs geysers and fumaroles as a constructive effects of volcanoes and after that we will study about the destructive effects of volcanoes so let us begin our lecture first we will take into account volcanic plateaus how volcanic plateaus are formed see volcanic plateau is just like other plateaus okay and it is formed what is what is a plateau plateau is an elevated land which is having a flat top which is higher than the plains but lower than the mountains that type of land is called plateau so uh, the plateau which is formed by the deposition of lava on the surface is called volcanic plateau right so we will study ke how volcanic plateaus are formed means volcanic plateaus are formed by the spreading of lava on the surface of the earth and it keeps going on again and again again and again and then what happens then the that uh, surface of the earth got elevated okay and becomes higher with a, a flat top which results into the formation of the plateau so how it is formed it is formed suppose if If there is a volcano right and uh, the lava is coming out from so many vents okay means you can say it is a destructive cone and lava is flowing from so many vents okay it is a <clears throat> uh, you can say a parasitic cone right in parasitic cone there are so many uh, uh, vents on a lava dome okay which destructs the lava dome okay and uh, hence they are called parasitic uh, cones or parasitic uh, volcanoes right so from there if suppose this lava suppose here we are having this is the surface of the earth right like this if it is getting deposited all over here again and again 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 right like this from here coming from here and getting deposited here right like this so what will happen this suppose this is the low land right so this type of land will be formed this type of land will be formed you can say right this type of land will be formed 
so this is what it looks like a plateau or not means by the frequent eruptions of frequent spreading of lava on the earth surface what happens the surface of the uh, height of the surface of the earth got increased means it got elevated and hence uh, a plateau was formed okay so this is how the volcanic plateaus are formed so in your book what is written let us see and how once one more way is there suppose if there is a fissure fissure means you can say okay, if there is a uh, you know uh, narrow uh, okay we can draw that like this just give me a second Suppose if there is a crack, okay, here, like this, there is a crack here also, or two or three cracks are there, okay, like, and here we are having the magma chamber, right, and from this magma chamber, the lava, sorry, the magma is ascending upside and flowing, okay, and flowing here, coming out from these and getting deposited here and here and here and here and here and here like this again and again okay from this line shaped hole or line shaped opening from the earth surface the line shaped opening from where the magma comes out or lava comes out is called what that is called fissure so if the lava is flowing from this fissure and this this is getting elevated this land surface is getting elevated okay so then what will happen this much what will happen here this formation will be what it will be a volcanic plateau Achha, volcanic plateau for uh, this what will happen what is required first of all the lava should be uh, basaltic basaltic means okay, it should be less viscous less sticky okay if it is basaltic or basic then it means it will be uh, less viscous right or less sticky and more fluid it will be more fluid means it can flow to a large uh, surface of the earth large area of the surface of the earth and will be deposited okay right so that condition is required and this lava can come out from so many openings okay or so many uh, vents of the volcanoes and it can also come out from fissure or fissures right and can get deposited on a surface of the earth layered by layer and can raise the elevation of the surface and hence can form what volcanic plateaus so let us see what is given in your book in your book it is given these are dried from lava which flows from volcanic eruptions the plateaus of peninsular india especially the north western deccan okay north western deccan right uh, which is uh, you can say the maharashtra region right uh, is an example of lava plateau other examples are south african plateau colombian plateau and ethiopian plateau so what are the examples colombian plateau we can write by black pen colombian plateau ethiopian plateau and Northwestern Deccan Plateau. So these are the examples of volcanic plateaus. So this is how volcanic plateau is formed. Now let us study how volcanic mountains are formed. 
so again volcanic mountains are formed by a similar manner okay uh, in this what happens the lava is basic you can see suppose if there is Suppose there is a magma chamber here. This is magma chamber here. And uh, from this magma, right, chamber, the magma is ascending upside and coming out as a volcano. And if this volcano or this lava is basic what sorry acidic if the lava is acidic the lava is acidic then what will happen it will be less fluid and more viscous so what will happen it will get it will get a starting depositing here only right in this manner here here only here only and other uh, pyro layer of pyroclasts may also be found here right uh, means a cone will be found whether it is a composite cone which is also called a uh, strato uh, cone okay or uh, cinder or any other cone okay so what will happen this lava will get deposited on one place on the surface of the earth and uh, that lava will be less fluid hence it will not be able to travel larger distance on the surface of the earth and will get accumulated and the size will keep on reaching and again and again and it will acquire a dome shaped structure okay and hence what will form the volcanic mountains will be formed so let us see what is written in your book it is written that these mountains are built from material ejected from the fissures in the earth's crust volcanic mountains are the most diverse because there are great differences in volcanic eruptions as well as the materials they throw up volcanic mountains like mauna loa in hawaii rise 9 km from the ocean floor Volcanic mountains are common in the Circum Pacific belt and uh, include much volcanic peaks as Mount Fuji, Japan, Mount Mayon, Philippines, Mount Mirapi, Sumatra, Mount Agung, Bali, and Mount Cotopaxi, Ecuador. So, these are the examples of volcanic mountains they have given. They have said the same thing which I have told you. Nothing important is here to remember just to you should just know what few examples okay like mount so many uh, uh, well-known examples are there mount vesuvius mount etna mount stromboli okay these all are the volcanic mountains right mount fuji so what is written here mount fuji right mount cotopaxi And one of the very, very important mountain they have given that is Mauna Loa. Mauna Loa. This uh, volcano is very important. It has created island, okay. The Hawaii Island, Hawaii Island, which is called Hawaii Island, right, of America which is in the Pacific Ocean, right, uh, very far away from United States of America and it is one of the states of United States of America. That entire uh, state has been formed by this Mauna Loa 
uh, volcano okay it uh, erupted in pacific ocean on the ocean ocean floor okay and from ocean floor to its apex right if you calculate the height means half which is inside the water in the in, uh, in ocean and which is above the water right so the entire height will be around 9 km okay which is higher than the height of mount everest okay although it is not higher than the mount everest uh, because its half height is below the sea in the sea you can say okay in water right so it is mauna loa one of the very very important example then we will study about the volcanic plains okay now what is volcanic plain volcanic plains are the plains which are formed by the eruption of uh, lava and the lava is spread on the surface of the earth right it doesn't acquire too much height to be called a plateau or a mountain right if lava is spread on the surface of the earth like a thin sheet okay which cannot be called uh, a, a plateau because of the less height as well as mountain because of the less height and the uh, curved top okay so that type of uh, structure is called volcanic plain so what is volcanic plain it is just the spread of lava on the earth surface in a form of thin sheet okay and again here if the lava is uh, basic in nature it is basaltic then it means it will be more fluid and it will flow over a large area of the earth and then what will happen then it will be uh, it will be spread just like a thin sheet of uh, lava and it will be called what it will be called a volcanic plain so volcanic plain is uh, uh, you can say it is spread on a plain only okay if there is a structural plain right uh, and on that the volcano uh, the lava got spread okay then what will happen a thin covering of lava will take place okay on that plain and that will be called a volcanic plain so volcanic plain is also just like other plains but here what is happening here the lava suppose this is the why it is not working what happened sorry just give me a second let me take another marker this is the new one okay suppose this is the surface of the earth right and here the lava get spread from here suppose the lava is emerging out okay coming out from here and it is spreading all over here right this lava is basic if lava is basic or you can say basaltic in nature basaltic then what will happen it will be less viscous and when it is less viscous it will be more fluid means it can flow right so it will flow to the large area on the surface of the earth and will be deposited right and what will happen a volcanic plain will be formed okay so what is given in your book uh, Volcanic plains. These plains are vast and smooth, formed by extensive volcanic, extensive volcanic flooding from volcan, volcanic centers. Okay, so it is also called uh, lava flood or basaltic lava flood. You can say okay. These plains are vast and smooth, formed by extensive volcano volcanic flooding from volcanic centers. The Western Victorian Plains in Victoria, Australia. Okay, so uh, 
there is a province okay which is called victoria in australia which is in the uh, southern part of australia okay so the plains of victoria were formed by this uh, lava flood only okay so what are the examples the examples are victorian plains victorian plains where is victoria victoria is in australia where in south western south eastern region of sorry south eastern region of australia okay victoria victorian plains Plains. So if it is Australia like this, so here we are having Victoria, right? <clears throat> then uh, these plains were formed by volcanoes over the last six million years, with most distant eruptions being at Mount Napier 7,200 years ago, over 400 volcanic sites have been found in this region okay so just uh, it was about victorian plains only mount napier in australia and how volcanic plains of uh, victorian plains were formed okay they, they are telling about that so that's all about the volcanic plains now let us move to the next topic which is volcanic sorry caldera lakes so caldera lakes how caldera lakes are formed i have already told you in the last videos okay uh, how caldera lakes are formed how what is caldera caldera is a you can say a very wide opening of the uh, volcano you can say a very large crater is called a caldera and when that opening is filled with water that is called caldera lake right so first of all there should be a depression in the earth and how that depression is created that depression is created when the uh, lava or when the magma from uh, from the interior of the earth uh, gushes out okay quickly right entire lava entire magma or you can say lava okay when, when it is coming to the surface of the earth the entire lava gushes out of the surface of the earth and you know uh, downside there is no structural support and the entire land collapse downside okay and one depression large depression is formed okay and that depression is called caldera and when that caldera is filled with water rain water then caldera lakes are formed okay so it is just like this. Uh, let me tell you. Suppose there are rocks, okay, layers of rocks are there, okay, till here, we have all rocks are there, suppose. These may be igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, or any rocks are okay. And here we are having the magma chamber. Right, this is magma chamber in red color. And here this magma chamber, right? This magma is rising upside. Okay. And if the eruption is very explosive or you can say uh, the entire lava is coming out, uh, you know, uh, very quickly from inside, then what will happen? The This entire lava will come out, okay, from here and then what will happen? Like this, this type of structure will be formed, okay, this type of structure will be formed. 
in this manner I'm giving this lining here suppose this is the structure right and what will happen when this entire region will be emptied okay this entire region or you can say this entire magma will come out okay like this from here then what will happen there will be no structural support there will be a hollow inside okay when there will be a hollow inside the land which is upside will collapse down okay this these all rocks will come down right here like this okay so what will happen there will be a hollow will be formed like this here i am erasing everything okay and just showing you how the hollow will be formed one hollow or depression will be formed like this okay and these all rocks which were here will come down side here and will be this space will be filled right so this is how the caldera is formed okay and upside here obviously we are having the deposition of lava will be here upside like this okay lava will be deposited here okay and when uh, the rain water or other other type of water will get collected here okay and now it will be called what it will be called caldera lake caldera lake so let us read what is written in your book during repeated eruptions the summit of volcano may be blown up okay repeated instructions or repeated uh, eruptions when the volcano is erupting again and again that i have that also i have told you in the last video okay how that that can also lead to the formation of caldera right right uh, during repeated eruptions the summit of the volcano may be blown up in its place a large depression called caldera is formed these are generally formed when the magma chamber is no longer able to emit sufficient magma and this results in the collapse of a cone either partially or wholly this depression eventually gets filled with water and forms a lake for example crater lake in the usa crater lake in the usa crater lake usa <clears throat> is a caldera lake it is about 10 km wide and it is the deepest lake in the usa right so that i have told you about the crater lake <clears throat> so i have told you about the landforms okay i have told you about the uh, how volcanic plateaus are formed how volcanic mountains are formed and how volcanic plains are formed and how caldera lakes are formed okay so uh, in the video has around you know 28 to 29 minutes length so i don't want to make it more lengthy so this portion hot springs geysers and fumarole as well as destructive effects of the uh, volcano we will uh, take into we will study in next video lecture number 6 thank you so much